Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maureen and I make lifestyle content while living on Sanibel Island as well as fashion, faith, and travel related videos. But today I have a little bit of something different. I have an Ulta haul for you guys. I did some damage there so let's just get right into it. to pick up some items that I was running out of and of course I had a little bit more fun than that. For those of you that don't know and don't follow my videos, I lost my home in Hurricane Ian and I lost the majority of my makeup and so that was about 16 months ago so I got a lot of the basics um, but when I was in there I decided to pick up some items that I had really missed. So some of these are a little bit more nostalgic for me and I'll explain that as well. So the first two items that I came in for were just some refills of some Tarte blushes. I love their blushes. I've been using them for years. And as someone who has acne prone skin, this does not break me out. So I love these. So the first color I got was Seduce and the other one I got was Expose. I'll open these up and then I'll also have some swatches included as well. The first blush that I have to show you is Seduce. I love this color. This is probably one of my most worn blushes. I feel like this is most like neutral that I wear, so I'll have that swatch. The other blush that I got was Exposed. I've been using this for years. I couldn't even tell you how many times I've hit pan on this and had to get a refill. That's how many times I'm wearing it today. It's a beautiful mauve color, which you'll also see swatched as well. I love blush, so I couldn't stop there. So I got two more blushes from Tarte. So the first color that I got was Party. It's a beautiful like muted pinky tone. Once again, you'll see that swatched. And then the last one that I got was in this beautiful like white peach, which is what it's called. And it's stunning and I just thought it would look really well with my skin tone. I love to match my blushes with what I'm wearing. So I'm really excited about all of these blushes. So the next item that I was going in for was concealer and I use this Estee Lauder one. It is called the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. And I get it in 1C, which is light cool. So I am wearing that right now as well. When I'm doing concealer, I used to be someone that used to do it several shades lighter in my under eye, but now I like it to match a little bit more with my skin tone. I just think it looks more flattering on me personally. So the next two items are from MAC and these are the ones that I wasn't necessarily going in for but I just saw them and kind of went crazy and it was a little nostalgic for me. MAC makeup was some of the first makeup that I ever got back when I was like 13 or 14 so that was a long time ago for me but it's still some of my favorites. But I'll show you the first item that I was intending to go in for. So the first item that I intended to get was this eyeshadow called Satin Taupe. I love this color. I've had this since I was in like middle school, but unfortunately, of course, I lost it in Hurricane Ian. So it really was time for me to get a new one. I just love it for like a smoky eye look. It's really simple if I just want to do it all over the lid and in the crease and it looks really pretty. I'll have that swatched as well, but that is what I originally went in for. But then I found some other colors that I really love and have loved in the past. The next eyeshadow that I got was in Sandstone. It's a matte and I just thought it was really pretty to use in the crease and I love these types of colors. So that is what I got and I will have that swatched. I also got another crease color and it's a matte as well and it's called Omega and I just thought it was really pretty, really great like buildable transition shade, at least for my skin tone. So I'll have that swatched as well. I picked up two more eyeshadows that were kind of skin tone, like highlight colors. I go through these colors really fast because I usually use them to set whatever type of primer that I'm using. So I typically run out of these types of things when I have them in palettes. So I thought it would be good to have two separate eyeshadows that I can just pull out. So the first one I've had before, and it was definitely an OG when I had a MAC palette that I got when I was 16 for my 16th birthday. And it is blank type or blanc type. I'm not really sure how you say it, but it looks um, it looks pretty matte on me, but it's just a really pretty color. So I'll have that swatched. The second one that I got, I don't think I had this one in the past, but I always wanted it. And I think for a while they didn't make it or they discontinued it or something. I don't know. I couldn't get my hands on it when I was younger, but it's the color Shroom which I think will also be like a really flattering color. I can put all over the lid once 
sometimes I just want to put something over my lids to kind of hide those veins. Great highlight color. So I'll have that swatched as well. So the last two items that I got were paint pots. It's been kind of a while since I've used one. It's definitely a blast from the past, but I thought that they would be great to layer eyeshadows over. So let me show you guys what mine look like. So the first one is Vintage Selection. So this is the Pro Longwear paint pot. And I just thought this was beautiful. I'll have that swatch as well, kind of a champagne color. I wear a lot of champagnes, so I thought this would be a nice little base for that. The last one that I got, it's also a paint pot and it is in the color Bare Study. It's also a really pretty like neutral color that I can put on the lid. The other one had more of a pinky undertone, as you can see, swatched next to each other. So like I said, I will definitely get a lot of good use out of this. The last items that I got, it's actually three, it's refills, was actually what I went in for originally, but I couldn't get them in store. And so when I talked to the person working there, she said that they are no longer on the shelves. And I was kind of like, are you kidding me? I love this item. I've been using it every time I wear my makeup. It is a foundation from Clinique, and I'll show you what that is. And I've been using it for over 13 years. So I was really sad when they said that, but she said that they didn't say necessarily that it was discontinued yet. They usually will tell you that. So she thinks that it's probably just being like reformulated or rebranded. So hopefully that's the case, but just in case it's not, I went online and I got three more so I can give myself some time to find another foundation if that's the case. I really hope that's not the case though. So I use the Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup and I use the lightest shade and fresh alabaster. And right now, because I am so light, because there's not been much sunshine here in Florida, it's almost starting to look a little too dark on me. So that's unfortunate. I hope if they're doing a rebranding that they're adding more shades. So hopefully that is the case, but we'll have to wait and see. So like I said, I've been using this foundation forever, the Acne Solutions and I use the color Fresh Alabaster. So that is the end of my Ulta haul. I did a little bit of damage. It's really fun to just get back into makeup again. And so I'm really excited about all these products. So please make sure to like this video if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what was your favorite item from this haul and overall what's your favorite Ulta item that you get when you're shopping at Ulta. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.